My name's Steve Gillespie and I'm the Deputy Head at the Greg School. It's my eighth year at the school and my 27th year as a Deputy Head. Core subjects here are given preferential time across the curriculum. Um, we see them as vital to children's development across their time at school and going future in their lives. Um, the way we organise the curriculum, we have broad ability groups throughout all years but um, as we go up through the school for the core subjects we set those, so in year seven maths is a set subject, in year eight it's English and maths and in year nine it's all three and that carries forward into key stage four and the LD year groups. We like to um, give preferential time to the core subjects so in a two-week timetable um, key stage three, the lower school um, subjects receive eight lessons across the fortnight, which is double anybody else. As we move into key stage four, um, math stays on eight, English goes up to ten because they have a lot more work to do around set texts. And the science subjects, they get 12 lessons because we teach them as separate sciences, so we give four to each of the three disciplines. So science is a premium. Um, at Key Stage 4 we make sure that we have specialist teachers teaching the three separate sciences and all students have the opportunity to follow the three separate sciences of physics, biology and chemistry. We like to work um, beyond the classroom here at the Greg. There's a rich programme of extracurricular activity and enrichment, particularly around the core subjects for English. We like to encourage theatre visits. Visits to the Globe Theatre in London is a regular part of the Key Stage 4 curriculum. Year 7 visit Harry Potter World as part of their enrichment. We've got a big focus on reading for pleasure. There's reading challenges, do lots of work in the library and reading lessons to try and bring the subject alive. Um, we've had visiting poets last year who came and worked with the lower school. I think we seize every opportunity we can. For maths, again very active. We take part in the UK Annual Maths Challenge every year and are pretty successful. We had a lot of children getting the Bronze and Silver Awards last year. A couple went through to the European final, so we're very proud of that. Um, we also take children out to local escape rooms to practice their problem solving skills. Uh, for more able students, um, we take them out to Bletchley Park to practice code breaking and some higher skills like that. For very able mathematicians, we like to get through their GCSE a bit early so that they can take a further maths qualification uh, in year 11. For science, again a rich program. Um, the university is very close to us here. We take full advantage of that, particularly with the upper school. Um, for the lower school, we do a regular visit to Marwell. We have an astronomy club as a little extra in after school time. Um, and we also have been quite successful in the Go For It Science, Technology and Maths Challenge run by Red Funnel Ferries and have won that two years running in the city. It's a mission for us here at the Greg to make sure that young people flourish as complete individuals. That is self-development and that's also academic development. In terms of their academic progress, we have what we call our expected achievement pathway. This is a way that we look at the way students are progressing, we set targets for their progress and we monitor that regularly. Students flourish as individuals and have a really broad experience at the Greg. We like to make sure that there's much going on outside the classroom as there is in. There's a broad range of extracurricular activities under our Valor programme where children can collect rewards and qualifications as part of their extracurricular experience. 